Hello and welcome. Today I want to take a Dash Studio Genesis 8 character and use it as the third person character in Unreal Engine 5. We begin today inside Daz Studio. Create your character. We are going to need the Daz to Unreal Bridge. I personally use the version from the developer himself, which I will leave a link to in the description. With the bridge installed, let's export our character. Go to Centaur, Daz to Unreal. Choose a location to store your character. Show FBX dialog and hit accept. Choose morphs and export. Next, we need to create a blank third person project and give it a name. With the engine open, we need to go to plugins and enable the DAS plugin. Hit restart and restart the engine. With the engine restarted, we need to make a couple of changes. Go to project settings, Search for plugins and find DAS to Unreal settings. Here it will ask you where you want to store your DAS characters. We want to choose characters and DAS to Unreal. Make sure you make a copy of this. Go to animation and simply paste and poses again paste i'll leave that structure there for a moment so you can see that's it now save all in content right click import game find the folder where you exported your das character to in that folder, locate the .dtu file, hit open. Our DAS character is now imported. Save all. Next, we're going to need an IK retargeter. The easiest way to do this is to go to Characters, Mannequin UE4, Rigs, choose the RTG UE5 Mane UE4 Mane, drag that to DAS to Unreal, copy here, in your DAS to Unreal main folder, we're going to rename this and we're going to call it RTG UE5 underscore G8 for Genesis 8. Open up that retargeter and you will be presented with this. In the target IK asset, we want to choose G8 IK rig. If for some reason you cannot see this IK rig, you can click on this cog icon and show engine content and show plugin content. With the IK rig selected, go to target preview mesh and we want to choose our Genesis 8 character. We want to create a new pose and call this G8 pose, hit OK, and reset the pose. And now we can scroll in our assets and we can test animation. It's not perfect, but it's OK. In order to use our DAS character inside our third person blueprint, we're going to need something else. And that something else is an animation blueprint. So here, go to Animation, Animation Blueprint, and it will ask you for a skeleton. Choose Genesis 8 Base Skeleton. Hit Create, and name this G8 Anim BP. Open it up. Because we only have one DAS character in our project, our DAS character is already set in the preview mesh. If you require another, you would choose it here. I'm going to apply to asset. In anim graph, if it's not showing, you can click here. 
search for retarget pose from mesh and open it up. Join the nodes together, hit compile, you will get an error. Select the node, go to the details panel. If for some reason it's not here, you can go to window details. In IK retarget to asset, choose RTG UE5 G8. Hit compile. I just want to open up our retargeter again. I want to go to root and I just want to check the settings. Yes, they're all fine. Hit save and close. And now compile your animation blueprint and save. Next, we need to edit our third person blueprint. Go to content, third person blueprints. Here we find our BP third person character. Go to viewport, select mesh, and we're going to choose Mane. And we're going to set the animation blueprint to ABP Mane. Hit compile. Again, select mesh, type viz. Uncheck visible. Your character will disappear. Go down to advance visibility based anim tick option and choose always tick pose and refresh bones. Hit compile and save. Now go to your content drawer. Go to content, characters, does to unreal, tune fella in my case, or the name of your character in your case, find your character mesh and drag it on top of mesh. If for some reason it doesn't parent automatically, just drag it again and make sure that mesh is the parent of your character. Hit compile. In the details panel, reset the location and rotation. In animation mode, make sure it's set to blueprint. In anim class, we want to find our G8 anim BP. Hit compile and save. We can now close this. And when we hit play, we now have our Daz character as our third person character. There may be some issues with the foot IK. You will have to resolve those yourself. You can improve animation by editing the pose. You would click Edit Pose and adjust the bones so they closely match our UE5 Mane. But that is beyond the scope of what I want to do here today, so I will leave it to you to experiment. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. And that is it. That is how you use a Daz character as your third person character inside Unreal Engine 5. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help. I'll see you in the next one.